Good morning. Um, beautiful sunny day here at Finca Verde in the Butterfly Garden. And so it's time to read Lesson 16. And you know, I've decided that instead of just reading straight through, if I have a thought, I'm going to share it, or maybe just my perspective, my point of view, because maybe, maybe that would help some people understand it a little better, or, or not, maybe it might confuse you more, um, whatever the case, if you'd like to read it without my thoughts, I'll post that as well on the group site, um, but the videos, I think I'm going to uh, share my thoughts as I read it. Hi, Crystal. Okay, love. <laughs> Um, all right, Crystal, I'm reading Lesson 16. Here we go. I have no neutral thoughts. The idea for today is a beginning step in dispelling the belief that your thoughts have no effect. Everything you see is the result of your thoughts. There is no expectation, there is no exception to this fact. The thoughts are not big or little, powerful or weak. They are merely true or false. Those that are true create their, uh, their own likeness. Those that are false make theirs. There is no more self-contradictory concept than that of idle thoughts. That gives rise to the perception of a whole world can hardly be called idle. Every thought you have contributes to truth or to illusion. Either it extends the truth or it multiplies illusion. You can indeed multiply nothing, but you will not extend it by doing so. Besides, you're recognizing that thoughts are never idle. Salvation requires that you also recognize that every thought you have brings either peace or war, either love or fear. A neutral result is impossible because a neutral thought is impossible. There is such a tempta temptation to dismiss fear thoughts as unimportant trivial and not worth bothering about that it is essential you recognize them all as equally destructive but equally unreal we will practice this idea in many forms before you really understand it in applying the idea for today search your mind for a minute or so with eyes closed and actively seek not to overlook any little thought that may tend to elude the search. This is quite difficult until you get used to it. You will find that it's still hard for you not to make artificial distinctions. Every thought that occurs to you, regardless of the qualities that you assign to it, is a suitable subject for applying today's idea. In the practice periods, first repeat the idea to yourself. And then as each one crosses your mind, hold it in awareness while you tell yourself, this thought about those butterflies is not a neutral thought. That thought about posting this on YouTube is not a neutral thought. As usual, use today's idea whenever you're aware of a particular thought that arises uneasy, arouses uneasiness. The following form is suggested for this purpose. This thought about cooking breakfast is not a neutral thought because I have no neutral thoughts. Four or five practice periods are recommended if you find them 
relatively effortless. If strain is experienced, three will be enough. The length of the exercise period should also be reduced if there is discomfort. Well, I think lesson 16 is pretty self-explanatory. I just threw in some examples, whatever the first thing was that came to my mind when I was reading um, the practice sentences. Um, you know, I'm, I'm learning that it's a lot like a dream, meaning that my thoughts, like in your dream, when you have a dream, everything in your dream, you create it. No matter how real it looks or seems, you did create it with your thoughts, your subconscious thoughts. So I'm getting the impression that waking life is very similar. Um, and through these practices, I'm noticing that my attitude or where I focus my attention is, is what comes back to me. So I decided to focus on happy thoughts and thoughts of love, thoughts of family, thoughts of connecting with my friends, hence these videos. So as uncomfortable I am sometimes with the idea of posting myself on YouTube or on Facebook, I know that I'm coming from my heart. and that that is never a bad thing. So, hope you uh, are enjoying the lessons. And like I said, if you would prefer to read them, I will also post them. Um, so you don't have to watch the video. You can just read them online on our Miracle, A Course in Miracles group page. So I'm wishing everybody a beautiful day and happy thoughts. Um, much love to all of you and see you tomorrow. Bye.